Hey guys, it's operations time, but it's gonna be a little bit of a different kind of operations video here. I thought I'd just try something a little bit more relaxed. Uh, you know, do an operations video, sort of, you'll see exactly how I'm seeing it. Instead of doing all of the, uh, you know, fancy camera angles and everything like that. So uh, we'll do a little trial run here, see how that works out. Let me know what you think of it. Uh, it's not that I'm gonna stop doing my, you know, really cool looking videos and everything with uh, all of the lighting and everything. I just thought I'd uh, just record this and see how people liked it. All right, so we've got, uh, we've got our uh, UP patched um, 588 GP38 sitting here. And uh, we've got a tanker car at the tail end there. That's going into our Titan transfer facility over in uh, Cerritos. And uh, we've just got a buffer car there, that, uh, that hopper, just to uh, go between the locomotive and the tanker car. And then we're going to move a couple of cars around within the facility. Pretty straightforward. So let's get the uh, track fired up here. I think we're ready to go. Let's pull on out. Yeah, we're gonna stop just behind the tanker facility and we've got to unlock our turnout, head down in there. And we've actually got another turnout over here, so conductor's gonna wander on over to that one, unlock that one. And we can go ahead and continue on. We're going to come into our uh, incoming uh, spur. Give the tanker facility a little honk there as we go by. Let them know that we're going to be there shortly. So we're going to pull all the way forward here, past that turnout where the locomotive is right now. Right, right about there will do. We'll go ahead and uh, unlock the turnout. Flip that over. All right, we can start backing up. So the incoming uh, tanker car here that one's actually just going to get spotted in the off spot location. So we're just going to continue going backwards here. We'll drop it off first. Brakes on. And grab my uh, skewer here. And let me think about this. So, yeah. I'm debating whether to leave the uh, 
the hopper car here because we're going to be taking out this guy right here and then we're going to be moving this one over to here. But then when we take off, we want to have the tanker car between us and... Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it here. I think I'm going to leave this thing here. You know what I'm getting at? I want to have the, uh, the buffer car between us when we leave with this guy. All right. I think I got it figured out. So we'll pull forward, head into the facility. I think I got it up far enough. Nope, a little bit more. Alright, get the industry rep out here, have them remove the blue flag. We'll go ahead and flop that over, make sure that's changed over. So now we're going to come in here and basically pull all three of these guys out. Drop this one off over here, and then swap these two around. I think that's the plan. Alright, so that looks good. So we're going to grab these guys out, we'll drop that one off on temporarily on the uh, track right here. I guess we'll drop both of them off actually, so we've got to swap these guys around. You see how clean my track is here, you can tell already, I'm losing the connectivity here. Clean up the, uh, the turnout right there a little bit more. So these are all the fun things you guys don't normally see during an operations video. We'll kill the bell for now. Gonna swap these guys around. So this guy is gonna go there, this guy is gonna go here, then we'll grab this guy and then grab that guy. thing about having a current keeper here because it uh, makes it through that little spot even though it's uh, causing some issues for the locomotive. Want it right underneath the, uh, the loading rack there. All right, now we're going to grab the uh, 
acid car here and put that over there. I'm just going to do a little maintenance here while we're uh, while we're doing our ops here. See if that helps any. All right, let's back up the sulfuric acid car into its spot. Disconnected. All right, now we're going to grab the hopper car and then uh, get the tank car that's coming out and be on our way. Play with my uh, knucklers here a little bit. All right, the off spot car is disconnected. Let's go ahead and pull forward here. Crossing needs a little bit of cleanup there. Still got a little bit of uh, paint and crud on the tracks, I think. And we'll hold there for a second. Flip our turnout back.
lock our turnout back up and we can go ahead and shove all the way back into the yard just like this. Now we'll stop over there and let the conductor close out all of the uh, switches or flip them back to the normal position, which is for the main lines. All right, and then head all the way back to the yard. Guys, I hope you like that quick and dirty little op session. A little bit different view of how things are going in an operation sh session without all the video editing. But, eh, let me know what you think. I can do a little bit more of these because they're a little bit quicker to do and um, not as labor intensive. So, but like I said, not that I'm giving up on my regular ops videos. Just trying something a little bit different to give you more content to look at. Guys, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, hit the bell button. To get notified when I post videos like this, operations videos, and my regular operations videos, and my layout updates. Till next time, guys, take care.